I'm Dr. Wolf, I'm a forensic pathologist, and today I'm gonna to show you an anatomical structure. And even if you've had no medical training, I think you might be able to kind of come up with the name for it. So you're gonna be making the diagnosis today. So behind me here is a slice of an organ. So if you're squeamish about that sort of thing, you may wanna leave the video now. All right, so what do we have here? If you've had an anatomy class, you probably recognize this. Above my head here, this is the cerebellum. This is a cross section through uh, the brain stem and the cerebellum. Cerebellum is in the very back part of your brain and uh, it controls balance and some other functions. And up here is kind of the beginning of the brain stem. And then we come down here. This is the beginning of the spinal cord. And as you know, the spinal cord goes down into the spinal column. So this is just a section. But what I want you guys to look at is this area right above my head here. All right, we're gonna zoom in so you can get a really nice look at it. And I want you to look at it and just say to yourself, what does this look like in real life? Not anatomical stuff, but if you saw something that looked like that, what would you describe it as? Would you describe it as like a cobweb or a spider web? Well, if you did, you basically got it. This is a lining of the brain called the arachnoid. So the arachnoid, it's called that because the word translates to spider-like or even cobweb-like. And you can hear it there. Arachnid is, of course, uh, a spider is an arachnid. You've probably heard that or the word arachnophobia. But let me show you where we are here, okay? So just go to the top of the photo and you can see that's the skin. You can see the hair coming out. That's the scalp. Below it is something called the aponeurosis. We'll go over that in another video. The periosteum is the lining of the skull bone itself, which we call the calvarium. And then immediately under that, we have the linings. We have the dura mater, which is the thickest and outermost uh, lining. Beneath that, the arachnoid. And if you look at that photo, you can see it kind of has that spiderweb, cobwebby look to it. And then immediately on the brain surface itself is the pia mater. So you can imagine hundreds and hundreds of years ago when people were dissecting human bodies and starting to name the body parts, they named things after what they looked like around them, things that they could describe, whether it was food or something like a spider web. So what does it do? Well, the arachnoid you know, is a lining that provides support to the brain. It has blood vessels in it. And from a forensic perspective, I'm very interested in where the hemorrhage is in a skull in relation to the linings. So in short, a hemorrhage above the dura, but under the bone is an epidural hemorrhage, below the dura, subdural hemorrhage, and below the arachnoid, a subarachnoid hemorrhage. These can have different clinical consequences and different treatments.